Welcome to the video lecture series on principles of compiler design. In today's video lecture, we'll be learning about backpatching technique. So first, uh, we are going to learn what is meant by backpatching. So uh, in order to convert a high level language to an intermediate code or a three address code, uh, we are supposed to fill various addresses uh, in go to's, in jumps or in for loops. We are going to suppose fill all these addresses. and these addresses are nothing but it's called as labels. So when we try to fill this missing labels or addresses in a three address code, then that concept is called as backpatching. In short, a mechanism to fill the missing labels or addresses in three address code is called as backpatching. So backpatching uh, has a collection of transformation rules. So uh, whenever we have a Boolean expression, uh, all these backpatching rules are actually associated with this kind of expression. The first expression is uh, when we have an OR logical operation. So first B is called as a Boolean expression, B1 is called as a first Boolean expression OR and the next one is called as MB2, B2 is called as another Boolean expression. Well, what is this M? M is called as a marker uh, variable here. Marker variable means uh, it does not carry any sense over here, simply we use this variable for uh, derivation. So M is actually associated here with epsilon. So this uh, uh, transformation rules are actually associated uh, to develop uh, the missing addresses in a three address code. Now the next address uh, translation is called as B1 and MB2, this is another Boolean expression. So this Boolean expression uh, is uh, associated to develop <coughs> the missing addresses in a three address code. And we have false list and true list associated with this uh, transformation rules. So we will learn one by one uh, how to use this transformation rules in an expression here. And uh, all these transformation rules are associated with uh, generating the go to addresses. Now. We will take an expression here, x is less than 50 or y greater than 100 and x less than y. And uh, obviously, this uh, is actually called as a short circuit logical operation here. Now we will try to write a three address code here. So we will start with the beginning address called as 100. So if x is less than 50, then uh, go to 106. So normally if the first instruction is true, since this is an OR condition, if the first instruction x less than 50 is true, then the entire expression is true, isn't it? So automatically it goes to a true uh, list here. So I am simply making it as go to a 106. 106 is actually whenever the condition goes for true, then it is called as 106 here. Now suppose if the first condition x is less than 50 is false then we are going to evaluate y greater than or equal to greater than 100. So if that condition is true, now if y greater than 100 is greater than 100 is true, then we do not know which address we have to fill go to. Suppose if it is false, okay. now we will go to the false list. If the second condition is false, automatically the entire condition is false. Now suppose if First condition, second condition is true, y is greater than 100 is true, then obviously we have to evaluate a x less than y, that condition should also be true because we are actually having an and operation in between these two, okay. So now if both conditions are true and the operation will result in true. So if x is less than y, so, so we are writing that in 104 address, if x is less than y is true, then we go for true list, that is what 106 is called as a true list. Now if any one condition fails automatically we will go to the false list called as 107. So now the missing addresses here as actually in 101 and in 102. In 101 we have go to, we do not know which address we have to fill and in 102 we do not know which address we have to fill. Now, now we will address that uh, use this transformation uh, rules for generating this missing labels. Okay. Now the first we will try to uh, derive this uh, expression with the help of a pass tree. We will start with the root node called as B. B is abbreviated as B1 or M B2, the first expression. Then B1 is abbreviated as X less than 50, that is called as the first expression here, followed by B2. B2 is actually having uh, this cumulative expression Y greater than 100 and X less than Y. Okay. So B2 is abbreviated as B1 and M B2. 
Now this B1 and the second uh, uh, tree, subtree here is Y is greater than 100 and then B2 is actually X is less than Y. Now we are actually having derived this tree here. Now first thing what you have to do here is we have to fill the true list and false list which is connected to this. Now let us assume that so first we will generate the true list and false list for the first expression that is x is less than 50. Now so b1 true list is 100 and b1 false list is 101 so why it is so. Now if condition x is less than 50 is true okay so if the condition is true automatically the true condition is actually on address location 100 and if the first condition fails that if the x is less than 50 fails then automatically it will go to the next address next address is actually 101 so that's why b1 is true list is actually 100 and b1 false list is actually 101 now we'll come for y greater than 100 okay now what is the true list here so in y greater than 100 true list is actually in address 102 and the false list of, uh, if condition fails automatically it will go to 103 here. So B1 false list is actually 103. Now we will come for the third condition. The third condition is X less than Y. Okay. Now the true list for X less than Y is actually in 104 and the false list is actually in 105. Now the next important thing is now we have to generate the next instruction for this quad here. M is called a squad, quad is called as an extra instruction. Now for uh, M dot Q, quad here, the first uh, expression M dot quad is actually 102 here. Okay. Because <coughs> uh, for the first tree, okay, first tree B1 or M B2 here, which address is not uh, there? We have 100 as the address and 102, 1 as the address here. True list and false list 100 and 101. Now, what is the next address? 100 and 101 has been occupied. So, the next address is automatically it is 102. That's what it has been mentioned as 102 here. Now, coming to the second subtree B1 and MB2. In this case, so what is the true list here? Now, the true list is actually 102 and the false list is actually 103. So, which address is not occupied automatically M dot quad next instruction is 104. So that is the next instruction. So I am just filling this addresses. Now, now we have to apply the rule here. So now uh, everything has been done. Now we have to evaluate the rules here for this expression. Now we will evaluate from in the bottom up fashion. Bottom up fashion means B1 and MB2. Now what is the transformation rule for this B1 and MB2? So I have given the rules here on the bottom of this side. So back patch B1 dot true list comma m dot quad and then b dot true list is equal to b2 dot true list b dot false list is actually merge of b1 dot false list and b2 dot false list now now how to evaluate this one now listen carefully in this case we have a tree called as b2 so b2 b true list so what is b true list b true list is actually b2 true list okay now B2, what is the B2 true list here? B2 true list is actually 104. So uh, that's why I have mentioned 104. And when I talk about B false list, we have to take the false list of B1 and B2 together. So B1 false list is 103 and B2 false list is 105. So I am merging it together. So merging it together means it's having B false list is actually 103 comma 105. So this is for this case. Now, now we have to go for the back patching here. We have generated a true list and false list now back patching. So what is back patching here? So back patching is B1 dot true list. Now, which is B1 dot true list here? B1 dot true list is actually uh, it is in 1 or 2 if y greater than or equal to 100. Okay, go to of dash that has to be filled. Okay, now if B1 dot true list is 1 or 2. Now M dot quad, what is M dot quad in this corresponding tree? M dot quad is actually 1 or 4. So automatically it will go for 104 here. Now the next one is we will evaluate the top tree now. The top tree is B1 or M B2. Now we have given the I have given the trans transformation rule here B1 or M B2. 
Now we will generate the true list and false list for this. Okay. So B dot true list. What is B dot true list? B dot true list merge of B1 dot true list, comma B2 dot true list. So in this case for this tree, B1 dot true list is actually 100 and b2 dot true list is actually 104 so when you merge it together we have 100 and 104 and when what is false list here so b2 dot false list is called as a false list for this okay so b2 dot false list in this case is actually 103 and 105 okay and that i have merged it together so b dot false list now coming to back patch so what is back patching b1 dot false list comma m quad okay now, what is B1 dot false list here? Okay. So, what is B1 here? B1 true list starts in 100 and B1 false list actually starts in 101, isn't it? In 101, what you have to do? You have to write M dot quad. So, what is M dot quad here for this tree? For this tree, M dot quad is actually 102. So, automatically this 102 should be filled in this 3 address code. So, this is called as backpatching concept. So, you have to evaluate this backpatching from the transformation rules and from the given expression to identify the missing labels. So, thanks for watching our video. Have a good day.